Welcome back to RV Garage Living. On this episode of RVG, we will be prepping the floor in our pole barn to lay down the in-floor radiant heat. So as you know, if you've been following us along on our journey to our debt-free homestead, we have put in sand, marked it off, tampered it down, and then we've put in rock and compacted it and made it level. So on today, we are going to try and put down the water barrier paper and the polystyrene for the flooring. So we tried to put the waterproofing sheets down and start on the north side and move to the south side, but weather is not going to allow that to happen. Seems how it's coming out of the south and to the north. Normally our wind comes from the northwest, but today Mother Nature had a different choice. So we're going to start again and start on the south side and move to the north side. John is cutting the black poly to go around the actual post and the concrete cylinder that we put into the ground just to make it flow a little easier and lay a little better. Starting on the south and moving northwardly, this has worked better for us as far as the movement in the poly. So what Sean has done is he has made the poly go up the wall a little bit so that we can staple the poly into the wall. And then as I move across, you'll see I go to the front of the truck. So what we've done is taken a soda case that comes in cardboard and we've cut the cardboard down into like two inch by two inch squares. And what we'll do is we'll place that on the interior side of the poly. And so we'll staple through that so that as the, the floor gets laid and poured and maneuvered over, it doesn't rip it out of the board itself. And so that it will adhere to the wall a little better and stay in place a little better. So before Sean and I got started, as you all know, we have uh, a little bit of a wind issue here. So we've put up a tarp on the north wall and the west wall to try to mitigate some of the airflow through the pole barn while we sit here and do some work in not so great weather. I mean, it's just windy and cloudy, so it's not like it's poured down rain on us or anything, but the wind will pick up as the day goes on.
so overnight we got a little bit of a rainstorm as you can see where the water has pooled in so our rainstorm unfortunately came out of the south so it has completely drenched the floor so now what we're going to have to do is either shop back it up or pick the poly up off the floor and dump it out and then put it back yes thank you mother nature so this will be the 3M seam tape that we're going to be using to tape the poly steering together for the flooring. So we'll show you how we do that. So we just went with a regular standard big, big box DuPont styrofoam board. And this is going to be four inches thick. It's a good insulator. It gives you an R rating. So with the weather... Um, the poly on the bottom and then this on top of that and then we'll put the inflow radiant heat pi piping on top of this poly steering. So stay tuned. So here you see the red 3M tape as well. So when Sean put the poly down on the flooring, then he cut it around, like I said, the post and the concrete cylinder. So we've taped all of the seams where water could penetrate from under the bottom because it's on regular dirt and rock. Or if say a pipe was to burst, it would uh, seal it into the poly as well so that we could just go and patch it and fix it later on if we needed to. But this is kind of our OCD and over engineering of things. And you can kind of see it at the top of it, those two little white or two little tan squares. That's the cardboard I was telling you about that we put the staple in to staple it so that it, didn't pen it penetrates through the poly, but it doesn't tear it or rip it. So I'll go ahead and give you a pano of what the storm looks like that blew in and blew out and that kind of lingered all day for a couple days and then we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know the next time that we post our video and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.